So what we do is we just find your midline. Here we go. And then mark to the sternal notch, which is the second inner space, and find the third inner space and come three finger breaths over. And that's gonna be where we insert the device. So we can numb up. Just a little, little prick. That's just the numbing medication. So we infiltrate um, lidocaine 1% um, kind of copiously at the superficial level. Goal is to get the device to can I speak to you really now? straddle the heart very nicely. I'm having a huge quantity of edema on my body. Okay, we'll take care of it. Okay. That's a concern. And then. And then what I like to do is, right where we anesthetize at this point, create our skin neck with the insertion tool. And then before we deploy the device, we will infiltrate more numbing medication along the track that we're going to inject the loop recorder. So that's what we're doing here. Lots of Lido. That is not a time to be stingy, and actually we have a new show on that. So, as long as we have a refill, we'll inject as much as they put out for us. There we go. The nice thing about this model is that you compare the insertion tool to the length of your needle, and so we want it to be sure to push the needle just a little bit into the skin so we account for the entire length of, of the insertion tool. And this is very nifty, so having the Boston Scientific and the hub up, this part, um, on the, on the lower aspect facing down, we can advance the insertion tool and we rotate the device. Now we're gonna withdraw the device and watch the loop recorder here drop into the, car, into the barrel. And now we'll see it with the plunger deployed, advancing subcutaneously. So I'm maintaining forward pressure and completely injecting that loop recorder subcutaneously and succeeding in that I can yeah. then remove the insertion tool. Okay. He's got a little bit of bleeding. Okay. Oh beautiful. So we're already getting Nice R waves. And then to close up the device, I like to use just a little bit of 4 O Vico Resorbable Suture just to make sure that insertion spot is really close tightly and that usually is enough to control the um, the surface bleed that you see here but, um, skin has lots of capillaries so the insertion tool as a sinker cutter.
too. Some people would argue that this is too much for a loop of fur, but I like it to be nice and tight and I feel it controls hemostasis and I'm more guaranteed that we're not going to have some infection that we weren't planning for. Everyone's, everyone's skin is a little bit different. His still wants to have some separation. So I'll probably just do a few running um, subcuticulars as well to really hold this together. Just the skin's just a little bit non-compliant with this gentleman. So we see that um, holding together very nicely. So just to um, <clears throat> anchor our stitch, I'll give myself enough room to the clothes with the knot and then we can should have buried that one nicely we'll be on our way So we could do steri strips over that, mm -hmm. or most conveniently, we can do um, the surgical glue at the break. So this will harden right up, and the patient can go home immediately without a bandage. Shower tonight. Just not. Just don't scrub on the glue, and um, we'll see that wear off in about a week. But he's gonna. He's gonna do great. So we use as much as is there. That dries up in just a minute or two. And um, this gentleman will be on his way with his beautiful new loop recorder. Mm. Perfect.